Hello, this is our physics final project about multicultural maracas and their impact in music and how they relate to physics. We drew inspirations for our project while we were looking for an instrument to build. We realized that the origin of the maraca is unknown. It sparked our interest and made us want to see what else we could find about the maraca. This led us to want to build and create our own project about the origins of the maracas and its significance not only in Latin America culture and music, but music all around the world. We thought these would be easy to make, just some rice, beans, and pebbles. Little did we know that crafting a maraca in a perfect circle was the hardest thing we could imagine. Also, having to attach a handle to a clay base is pretty much ridiculous. Maracas can be made using a very common plant in Puerto Rico called the higuera tree. They remove the pulp from the inside and then insert small pebbles and then fix a handle to it. This method is used in many different countries around the world. We decided to use the clay method because drying out the fruit was harder than we thought and neither of us are gardeners. Here we show you what we wanted one of the maracas to look like versus what we got. We went through about $50 worth of bad modeling clay and a mess worth a lifetime before we found one we liked. While we were modeling our maracas, we didn't film because everything was messy. Clay was everywhere and we still had to leave the clay to dry for 24 hours. Here's a clip of me trying to insert the dried rice into one of the maracas. We then had to paint the maracas. The clay and the paint worked well on each other so this wasn't really hard at all. The worst part about this was making sure everything looked neat. After we had the maracas finished and made, it was time to head back to the books. No one really knows where maracas originated from. Some people heavily believe that they are from an Indonesia, Indi Indonesia tribes in Latin America where the maracas were founded amongst the tribes in Latin America is unknown still. The native tribe of the Taino people claimed to have invented them, but Colombia seems to have records of them in the 1500s. The three main countries who produce maracas are Puerto Rico, Brazil, and Venezuela. The thing about the maracas is that you can't find a single frequency because it depends on how fast you shake it. We did learn about how different shapes create different sounds and noises. How what you put inside of them affect the sound greatly. We decided to go into Raven and see what we could find any harm harmonics. We shook each maraca for 15 seconds in a simple back and forth pattern and this is what we got. We studied the graph and none of the maracas had repeating patterns. Of course this is because the maracas don't seem to give anything but a rattling noise. But what did we what did but what we did see is that after a few tries the waveforms did start to repeat itself. We think that to only be because of good timing and rhythm on our behalf though. After we finished all the raven stuff, we wondered for a moment if you could find some harmonics in maracas. Then we realized there are so many different types of maracas in the world and we couldn't just base our predictions of finding harmonics in maracas of that on every single maraca in the entire world. Maracas are used in just about every Latin America song there is. Maracas are used in just about every Latin America song there is these days. They provide a steady fun beat and easy to play. Maracas have even been used in rock and pop music. The culture of the Maracas really expand far beyond the reaches of Latin America. We probably wouldn't have a lot of the great Latin music today if these small percussion instruments weren't invented. Sadly, we still don't know who to thank for that. In conclusion, we have deemed this project a success. Some maracas look better than others, but we did have fun building and researching. Maracas really don't really have any harmonics and would be really hard to find the frequencies, but the numbers just weren't shaking up.